All right, guys. So finally, another vlog. Time for another vlog. Another story time. Um, I decided to tell kind of a funny story this time. Um, I mean, I told the ghost story last time. So, funny story, ghost story, funny story, ghost story. I think that's just the way it's gonna go from now on. Um, so today, this is kind of a weird story for the fact as it plays into how weird people can be when you actually get to meet them personally and also you just never know who does what or or whatever in their spare time this was years ago i was probably 19 um i was going on a date well you can consider it a date not even really a date i met a girl who i thought was uh attractive i guess at the time uh just imagine her as a mix between the girl singer from paramore and um some girl from some model from suicide girls or something i don't know imagine that and uh that's what i thought was attractive at the time uh so anyway um anyway so this girl invites me to a party at her house at her apartment uh i say sure it sounds like a great idea it sounds like fun um you know parties you get to know people and all that stuff so I asked my friend Dan to come along with me, and he's excited because he was new to the area at the time, and uh, he also wanted to meet a girlfriend or a girl or whatever. <laughs> uh, so we go, <clears throat> we're all stoked to go, and show up to this girl's house, and she opens the door, and I see in her living room, there are like 15 computer monitors in a like stacked up within the, the square walls of the house um, not okay not stacked but they're in a square line and uh, I'll have the shitty artwork in here to, to, to show that off so I, I was really just taken back for a second I was looking at this and just really confused of what the fuck I just walked into like did I just walk into, like, a, a cult of people that, like, love the Matrix or something, or whatever? And, uh, the weird thing is, this girl didn't have anyone at her house yet. There was no one there except for her and her one friend. So, I'm looking at this, and Dan's looking at me, and he's kind of, like, giving me the look, like, what the fuck? And I just can only shrug my shoulders. I was like, well, I'm still willing to, in my head, I was justifying... A way to like just to stay here and not leave because I was like well this girl's still really nice and she's still really cute so I'm just gonna try to, to, to you know let this play out and see what happens so I ask her what's going on with the computers and uh, she looks at me and she's like well it's a party and I'm like okay a party what, what kind of party is this like I thought this was a, a real party and she, she says no oh, this is a land party a what? A land party. We're all gonna play World of Warcraft. My, I can only imagine what my face probably looked like. I would probably, I probably went I was dumbfounded looking, like a deer in the headlights. I was like, what? <laughs> and in in my back of my mind, I'm like, I feel like I gotta get out of here now. And my friend Dan is just looking at me. And I'm looking at him, and of course, we just shrugged our shoulders, and we just started drinking. Now, because I didn't know that this was going to be some computer World of Warcraft party, I didn't bring no computer. At the time, I don't even think I had a computer. And, uh, I'd never played World of Warcraft a day before in my life. So I have no idea how the game even works. So, but obviously these people take it super serious. It's almost like that South Park episode. How do you kill which has no life? Kind of thing. And these people start showing up to this party. Her friends, I'm assuming. And... I don't know, man. Like, there's a lot of weird stuff that I can take. I mean, I, I know everyone's got their own... Uh, personality and their own niche about them and stuff like that the quirks that make them who they are but 
The people that showed up at the party, and I know this is going to sound really rude and insensitive when I say this, but it's just the way it is. It was like I had been transported back to high school, uh, and this was Doherty High School. I'm not going to tell you what city it was in, but Doherty High School. And I remember these kind of people being the kids in high school that would sit underneath the stairs because it was a two-story building that would sit underneath the stairs and had like the, the you know the, the super gothic look you know kind of like uh, a UV from uh, what's that fucking movie called uh, shit I don't remember UV from is it no it's not very bad things it's disturbing behavior disturbing behavior so UV from disturbing behavior and they sit, would sit underneath the stairs and, you know, light incense underneath the stairs and do whatever they were doing. And this is the kind of people that start showing up. Now, I know I'm an adult and I was an adult then and I can accept people for whatever. But the, there's just some personalities and the way that some people are that you just cannot... You can't make it work. Like, you can't even have a conversation with some of these people. Like, you say hi to them and it's like... Hmm. Where's your computer? You know, it's... <laughs> I, I, man, I sound like a fucking asshole, but that's, that's pretty much how that party went. So I don't know how all these, fr anyway, I don't even know how these people were friends with this girl or how they met, but that's just the way it was. So basically the night went from up here being like, oh yeah, I'm finally going to be able to hang out and have a party with the girl that I liked at the time to a fucking plane crash and and fucking bomb parts all over the place and debris and trap metal going everywhere because it turned out to be some sort of uh, World of Warcraft clan that this girl didn't specify on anything about playing computer games. And it ties into the second part of what I was saying is you could just never know with some people what they're into by looking at them. You know, I thought looking at this girl, she was probably into a lot of the same stuff I was. Uh, you know, I, of course I like video games, but... You know, I don't know. I don't even know how to explain it. And as the night went on... I'm not going to say things didn't go anywhere, but I'm just going to say that. It just... Her and my personality... No. It was never going to work because just... I'm not a shut-in. I mean, as much as I like to stay in the house and I don't like going around people that much, I'm not that much of a shut-in where I'm going to sit and play World of Warcraft for 48 hours. And, you know, the stereotypical Dorito drinking Mountain Dew drinking person. And uh, that's just the way it is. Nothing against those people, it's just not for me. So anyway, yeah, there was the, <laughs> there was the funny story, kind of like me, I don't know, shallow asshole, I guess, me. Uh, vlog but that's just the way it is that's the way it goes <laughs> and uh, anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this story I know I'm gonna look kind of like a dickhead but that's just the way it is man it's just the way game chase and go all right guys have a good rest of the night and I'll see you on the next vlog where's your computer 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 where's your computer